Good afternoon, my name is Jason. I'm going to be showing you how to properly set up the one win 11 foot zipper hammock. I'm going to be showing you its different features along with its cinch buckle system and its adjustable ridge line. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to get started is we need to pick a good location. All right, so right now I have two trees, this one here and this one here. They're approximately 20 feet apart. This hammock being 11 foot hammock to include the cinch buckles, then the tree straps. So you're going to need a span between two trees of anywhere from 13 to say 23 feet. Now that depends on the diameter of the tree. With being 12 foot tree straps, if you have a bigger tree over here, it's much thicker around, it could take up more of your tree straps so the distance between the two trees wouldn't be able to be as far apart. All right, so for what I have set up right here, this will work out great for the straps that I have and we're gonna get started. So the first thing you do is you got two straps that come with it. I'm gonna take one of them, just hang it out right here. That way I have my hands free to set up the first one. All right. Now, you notice on one end of it, has an eyelet sewn into it. So you're gonna go around the tree and you're gonna pass the other end back through this eyelet. And then you pull it all through. Now for a hammock that does not have an adjustable ridge line, and we'll get to more of that later, you have to make sure that you set your tree straps high enough to where you get the proper angle with your hammock. With the one wind hammock, you don't have to worry about the angle so much because you have an adjustable ridge line. So I'm six foot tall, so I put my straps just above my head is typically where I put my tree straps at. So now that we have the first one, we're gonna go over there to the other tree, we're gonna put on the second one. You just lay this one down. Now that we have both of our tree straps up, let's grab the hammock and get that set up. Now for the 11 foot zipper hammock, this one comes with a double ended stuff sack, so you can open up either end and to lay out your hammock. So we're gonna open up this end, but the first thing we do is we attach the cinch buckle to one of the straps before we ever even open up the hammock bag. Just leave it all in there just like this, and we're gonna hook up the cinch buckle first. All right, to hook up the cinch buckle, you just go to one of your straps, pull it out, and you see here, a cinch buckle goes up and down like this. You want to go through closest to the actual line itself. You're going to send your strap through, just like that. Pull it up a little bit. Pull your cinch down. Make sure your strap lays flat and put it right on top of it. And that's how you start it. Now we're going to do more adjustments on this in a little bit and I'm going to show you why we don't make the final adjustments and we don't put it through the elastic keeper yet. We're going to just leave this here. We're going to lay everything out and go over to the other side and then we're going to hook up the other one. Once the other one's hooked up through its cinch buckle, then we're going to get the hammock positioned to where we need it. Okay, so first thing you're just going to pull some of your line out. Then you're going to open up this end that you have connected. You're going to open that up just like that, and then you're gonna pull out your hammock all the way to the other side. Just like that. Now, we hook up to this cinch buckle. And you'll notice we was able to pull out the entire hammock, never touches the ground, nothing gets dirty, anything like that. You don't have to worry about anything getting dirty and nasty. You just grab your other strap off the tree, pull it up, then we do this one just like the other one. Go through the underside of the cinch, like this, come over the top of the cinch, like this, and you pull it through. Okay. Now it's kind of snug right here. All right. This is where we use the elastic keeper. This elastic keeper right here keeps all of your tree strap straight. If your tree strap is not straight and it's over like this, it's not going to hold. When you pull on this and you put any weight in the hammock, it's going to lower and drop you on the ground. You have to make sure that your tree strap stays straight in the cinch like this. So to do that, you use this elastic keeper. Put the other end of your strap through it and pull it. 
now you can see how this all lays nice and flat and we're going to do more with this in a little bit for now we're just going to leave it like this until we get the ridge line adjusted to where we want it okay before we do any more adjustments or we go over anything else you do the same thing to the other side take your strap put it through the elastic keeper and pull it up that way it keeps this all nice and flat and then we can go ahead and we can set in the hammock, make sure that the hang's right, the sag is right, and I'll show you what I mean by all that. But the next thing that we're gonna cover is we're gonna look at the bug net. So you can see here that it comes with a completely integrated bug net. So you don't have to worry about anything, mosquitoes, flies, gnats, the no -seums. nothing gets through this fine mesh. So you have this that's already built into it. However, if it is a beautiful day out and you don't need the bug net for any reason you can actually store the bug net up here in the double ended stuff sack so you just take the zipper unzip it all the way up and around all the way up so now right here how the bug net just stays completely connected right up here by the stuff sack so what you can do is just grab all of your bug net just start taking it all up and stuff it right inside the stuff sack. Now once you get it all up there and out of your way, just pull the drawstring. Now that your bug net's put up, now you can see how open the whole hammock is without the bug net. Something else I'd like to show you about this hammock. You go to some of the other hammock companies and you're going to have one piece that's going to be a certain color here. Then there's going to be another section sewn in right here. Then there's going to be more pieces. So you're going to have different pieces that are sewn in, different fabric that's sewn together. All of those sew spots, all of those seams, those would create ridges whenever you lay down in. If you notice, this is one solid panel. So you don't have to worry about any of those seams or creases or anything rubbing up against you, annoying you in the middle of the night. This is one solid panel. So the comfort level is just absolutely amazing in this hammock, right? All right, now we're going to cover the ridge line. So I was talking earlier about the angle of the tree straps. So for the angle of the tree straps to have a good lay in the hammock, you want about a 30 degree angle on both sides. That provides you a nice lay in the hammock. A lot of people that you'll see, their straps are so tight, the hammock's pulled really, really tight. The fabric is all pulled up together and it's really hard to get in and out of your hammock that way. With having this ridge line already built into it, you don't have those issues. And this is an adjustable ridge line, so you can adjust the amount of sag that you have in your hammock. Right? So to adjust the ridge line, you take this right here. So to make it tighter, grab here, and you pull, and it makes the whole thing tighter. To make it looser, pinch where the bead is, right here, push it up against it, and you can make it looser. Now I'm going to move the camera back and I'm going to show you what happens to the angle of the hammock whenever we move this ridge line one way or the other. So you can see here how the hammock is really stretched out really long right now. So that makes these sides pull in really tight against you. So what you do is you take your ridge line here and you adjust it like I showed you. Now look at this angle that it now creates inside the hammock. Now this is a good angle where you can lay in the hammock and it's very comfortable. And once again, you just adjust the ridge line one way, adjust the ridge line the other way for whatever is comfortable for you. But this has a lot of adjustments in it, so you can just pull it right up like that. With the tree straps being up and the ridge line adjusted to where we think that we're going to like it, we're going to go ahead and set in it. Now, I like to set to where my feet barely touch the ground. That's where I like to have my hammock. Some people like their hammock a little higher, some people a little lower, so that's really personal preference. For me, I like my feet just barely being able to touch the ground just a little bit. That's where I like it. So you take your hammock, pull one side underneath of you, push the other side out, kind of lean back into it, and set down. Now you can see, with the straps the way they are, this is too low for my liking. Some people like it this low, I don't. So I'm going to adjust my tree straps on both sides. I'm going to make them tighter, which is going to raise up the hammock. To adjust the tree strap, you simply just grab right here at the base of the cinch buckle. Pull the strap, makes everything tighter. Make sure you tighten up that strap. Make sure it's all laying flat. Now you can see it's, it's higher. 
Now I never adjusted the height of my tree straps. Whenever you have a hammock that does not have the ridge line in it, you actually have to take your tree straps, loosen them up on the trees, and you have to move them higher in order to get an, an angle that is good for you. With having the ridge line in here, you don't have to do that. You can just adjust the ridge line, which keeps the sag, no matter how tight your tree straps are, it keeps the same sag in your hammock. Now we set it again. And that right there is about where I like it. I like my feet just to be flat on the ground. That's right there where I like the hammock itself, is right about this height. So now if you want to get out of it, a couple different ways you can. Just push yourself back and stand straight up. That's the easiest way to get out of a hammock. Same thing with getting in it. Push this down, pull this back, scoot back a little bit, set right down into it, and you're good. All right, now that we have the hammock set up to the height and everything that we want, now I'm going to show you what I do with the, the leftover uh, tree straps, right? So what I do here is I take the tree strap back out of this keeper, and I wind the tree strap up on my hand. Get a nice little piece of it like this together. I hold it flat to the other strap. I take the elastic keeper. and I just come over all of it. Now this keeps my tree strap up off the ground. It keeps everything away from it. It's nice and tidy. It's out of the way and it looks good. So let's go do it to the other one. So now just take it all, just like the other side, shove it right inside, it's good to go. Now up top here, you get this little organizer bag that comes on your actual ridge line. So you can take things like a water bottle at night, you can take your phone, put them up inside the bag, pull your little drawstring, and you have all your stuff there. You also have a little lantern eyelet right here. So anything with a cl little clip on it, you can clip right here or whatever. Myself, I use it for my glasses. So I take off my glasses, I put them through just like that. So they're not on my backpack. I don't forget where they're at or anything like that. They're not down in the dirt. They're not laying out to where I knock them off or anything. They're hanging, they're clean, they're out of the way. So then I can even take this move it to one end or the other, and they're completely out of the way. I really like that feature for my glasses, once again. A lot of people, they will hang different things on this. I like it for my glasses. All right, now a lot of people will lay in a hammock, and they will lay in it just like a banana, is how they're going to lay in it. So their feet's going to be up on one side, their head's going to be up on the other, and it's actually quite uncomfortable whenever you lay like that for a while. That's not the way you're supposed to lay in a hammock. You're actually supposed to lay slightly diagonal, slightly off to the side. So now I'm gonna show you once you get into the hammock, how to lay in it to where you're most comfortable. Because when you're just sitting like this, it, it gets uncomfortable after a while. You get a little crease in the back of your knees and stuff like that. But whenever you turn sideways in the hammock, you can almost lay completely flat. So that's what I'm gonna show you. We get in, pull the side down, push the other side back, have a seat. Now what most people do is they would just turn like this. They would put their feet straight up and they're kind of in the, the banana position here. It's not what you do. You turn slightly sideways. So take your feet over here, over here, get that out of the hammock. You turn a little bit sideways in here and now you can see I'm almost laying perfectly flat. And this is beyond comfortable. And then once again, you can just hang your stuff right up here on the ridge line. Got this little piece here, just take off my glasses, move that back out of the way, <sighs> go to sleep. All right, another feature to this hammock that it already has built into it is it's got these little clips right here. This is for your under quilt. So your under quilt is something that we're going to be showing later in a totally different video. This is just showing you the features of this one. So these little clips that are along the side here will clip into your under quilt and keep everything right to the bottom of your hammock. Once again, that's a different video and I'll show you that. This is just for the hammock itself, right? So now we're gonna redeploy the bug net. I'm gonna put that back over everything. Just open up your double end stuff sack. Reach up inside, grab your bug net. Pull it out, lay it on both sides. Grab your zipper and you just walk all the way around with it.
right now that your bug net's back on, I'm going to show you getting in with your bug net. Now what I do with the zippers is you have them both, you have both your zippers in one location. I'm going to have my head at that end. So I'm going to move these zippers to where I can reach them better. Moving to here. Open this up like this. Now whenever you sit down, you're going to sit down and kind of go underneath your bug net at the same time. So sit here, push all this back, pull your bug net over like this. Zip it all the way up. Now I know little creepy crawlies get in, in the middle of the night. And you're in here. You got all the net is up off of you because of the ridge line itself. And you don't have to worry about getting bit by anything, any creepy crawlies, any type of bugs getting on you. You're completely sealed into your hammock now. And you're still extremely comfortable. Unzip. Pull it off of you. And just push back. Get right up. Now that I've showed you all the features to it, I'm going to show you how to take it back down. And just like deploying, you don't have to put it on the ground. So your hammock stays clean the entire time. I'll show you how to do that. We're going to start at the end that has the stuff sack on it, and we're going to work our way to the other end, pushing the hammock inside of it as we go. So you come to this end here, it's got the stuff sack. Take your strap out of the elastic keeper. You will take the cinch buckle, you'll bend it backwards like this, and pull the strap out just like that so once again break it over backwards pull the strap out just like that all right let your strap down keep the end with the stuff sack now you're going to take how you have your hammock ridge line is all up here you're going to take your hammock pull it up tight to it create a little ball here at the end and you're going to put this inside the stuff sack to start with and as you go you just work your hands right up it. Keep going all the way up the entire hammock, keeping it pulled snug. That way it all just slides right inside the bag, just like this. Keep going all the way to the end. You get to the other cinch buckle. Push all of your hammock down inside the stuff sack. Pull your drawstring around the top. So now you just have your cinch buckle both sides. Same thing on this side. Pull your strap out of the elastic keeper. Bend over the cinch buckle like this. Pull the strap through. And there you have it. And that's how you set up the one win 11 foot zipper hammock. If you have any questions, please drop us a comment, ask the questions, and we'll try to get right back to you. Thank you very much for your time. Y'all have a wonderful day.